jihadist movement specialist Wasim Nasser. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What exactly was hit? Well, actually, it's a training facility where uh, Al Qaeda commanders, as the Sandcom said, were targeted. Uh, I get to know that at least three confirmed deaths uh, are real. So Abu al-Fadl al-Tunisi, a Tunisian national, Abu Zir al-Masri, meaning uh, Egyptian national, and Abu Yahya Jazairi, an Algerian national. And here we see on the map the spot that was hit. It's a neighborhood called Al-Muhandisin 1, uh, west in western Aleppo. And what's important here is we have to remember that it's not the first time that the U.S. Uh, SATCOM hits Al-Qaeda targets in this area, but it's the first time since March 2017. So we had uh, previous attacks on important figures uh, of Al Qaeda, um, uh, as Abu Khair al Masri, which was like the second of Zawahiri, uh, released by Iran in 2015 after a deal with the Al Qaeda and Iraq Peninsula. And he wished at the time to join jihad in Syria. And he did, up to the point where he was killed by the Americans in February 2017. So uh, it's not the first time. But they always try to pick high-value targets, as they say. Now, can you tell us more about this group that, that was targeted, I mean, who were reportedly uh, threatening the lives of U.S. citizens? Well, uh, yes, the CENTCOM doesn't go into, into details, but we know since the friction between Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, HTS lead, led by Jolani, and al-Qaeda, we had we witnessed on many offshoots of al-Qaeda uh, having a foothold in this uh, Idlib enclave, mm -hmm. uh, meaning also western, uh, the area of west, west of, uh, of Aleppo. And Haras al -Din is one of them. Them. But what's interesting here on this issue is that Haras al -Din themselves excluded from the group at least two of the people who were targeted yesterday by the U.S. CENTCOM. And the reason for that is because, as I was told one more time, that they issued uh, some ideas or they were thinking or saying that it is legit still to target the West from inside Syria, which Al-Qaeda central forbid. Zawahiri himself said that the Western interests shouldn't be targeted out of Syria. Mm -hmm. That the Syrian jihad should be, should be preserved, as uh, as he said. So they were excluded. There was a lot of turmoil inside Haras al-Din, where the heads of Haras al-Din, so Abu al-Humam al-Shami and uh, Sami Araidi, a Jordanian national, were called up to show up in an Islamic court. They didn't. I'll spare you the details. But it tells us, one more time, that even inside uh, jihadi groups loyal to al-Qaeda, there's a lot of turmoil. A lot of, of uh, friction. And one more thing, like a very important jihadi figure, historical figure, Abu Julaibib, uh, the Jordanian, was forced at the time, a few months ago, to leave Idlib. Mm -hmm. And he went to Dara where he was where he was killed. So it's not that plain simple, especially since Julani is the uh, most powerful man uh, in the area. He's trying to co to, uh, to control al-Qaeda offshoots and, at the same time, not to upset a lot uh, Turkey. And what happened here uh, yesterday, we can imagine that it's the outcome of the talks at the G20 summit between the Turkish President Erdogan, the Russian President uh, Putin, and, of course, the American President Donald Trump. Indeed. Thank you very much for that, Wasim. Wasim Nasser.